enhancer, the enhanced fishing. Um, here today to talk to you guys about fishing rod protection, fishing rod covers, and specifically TRC covers. So let's jump right into this. Uh, TRC covers, for those of you who don't know, um, it's Texas Rod Covers. It's a company based out of Texas, veteran-owned company, awesome company, making great rod covers, lure covers, and reel covers. Um, I absolutely love these covers. They come in uh, many different colors. You can see they've got the green, blue, they've got yellow, they've got a gray, and then you can see behind me, they've got the black, they've got the red. So let's jump into why um, I like these covers. Uh, personally, in my opinion here, I think these are the best covers out on the market. Um, I've used some other covers. I There's several reasons why I think these ones are the best. Uh, I absolutely love these, and these are going to be the covers I use on my rods um, for the rest of my career. So, starting off first, it's got a tighter weave than most covers. You're not going to have the issues of uh, any eyelids, any of your rod eyelids poking through. Um, it's just a tighter weave in general on these, on these covers here. Uh, the next thing you've got is both ends, both ends of this, and I'll give you guys a close up on this here in a minute, but both ends of these covers are dipped in a rubber compound to prevent fraying. So you're not gonna have fraying issues on the top here. You're not gonna have any issues with your uh, rod tip poking through the top. So while we're talking about the top of this cover right here, in here, in the top of this cover is a foam insert that's glued in around the top of this. Um, it's kind of a two-fold system on how this works. It's in there one, um, it's protection for your rod tip. It's gonna, it's gonna help protect your rod tip. You know, you can push down on this while your rod's in it and you're not gonna, you're not gonna hurt that tip. It's a nice thick piece of uh, foam that's in here. The second piece of this um, and the thing that makes these covers really unique is that this foam tip makes these covers float, which that's an awesome piece um, given, you know, all of us fishermen at one point or another are gonna be kicking stuff into the water. So, I mean, the first day I was out with my rod covers, first day I was out on the dock, my daughter decided uh, she wanted to kick one in the water. It wasn't on purpose. She was just out there fishing with me. She got a little bored. She started dancing around, kicked a rod cover in the water. It was super easy. They, it floated. I was able to just reach over, snag it out of the water, get it out, let it dry out, and it was good to go. So. Um, some other features of these rod covers, they come in several different styles, several different lengths. So this blue one here is a bait casting cover um, with a strap. So again, I'll give you close-ups on all these covers in a second, but the strap gives you the ability to uh, strap this around your reel and kind of lock it into place. You're, you've got these on the deck while you're running down. You're not going to have between the foam insert and the top that um, goes over your rod tip and the strap, you're not gonna have to deal with this thing blowing off your rod, anything like that. I've seen several guys who have had covers, I've used covers that are really easy to slip off. They're sliding off all the time. They're starting to blow off in the back of your truck or something, um, you know, so this is, this is great. The other thing about these rod covers, you know, is um, they're, they're for more than just uh, rod storage. They're for more than just when you've got them in the storage box, you know? or when you've got them in the garage. Yes, whenever I'm storing my rods, I've got the covers on them. But you also have to think about, uh, I'm a bank angler a lot of the time. I do fish out of a boat. I fish tournaments with my partner. Um, he's got a boat. Um, but you gotta think about when I'm fishing on the bank, there's a lot of times I need to lean, lean my rods up against something or maybe lay them down on the ground or something like that. And these rod covers, they're protecting them the whole time out there. So I'm leaving them on all the time. Um, the kayak anglers, you know, I've talked to several kayak anglers who they're fishing in an area and their rods are hanging off the back and they're running into trees, getting tangled up in trees and different things. Well, if you've got these rod covers on there, you're not going to have that problem, you know. Um, so going back to the covers, several different options. You've got with strap, you can see there, you've got a bait casting without the strap, you know. Um, just different options you can have depending on what you like and what you want to use. Me personally, I really like the strap. I know guys who say, you know what, the foam insert in the top keeps that, uh, keeps that protected and it keeps this rod cover on my rod, so I don't really need the strap, but everybody's got a different opinion and likes something different. So they also make, this is a, a Magnum bait casting uh, 
with the strap. So again, just thicker material or thicker weave, a little bigger material for that little bigger rod, something you want to really take care of. Um, they've got great setups, all kinds of different ideas. And then you've got your spinning setup, same thing. You've got without the strap, and you've got your spinning with the strap. So uh, multiple different options when it comes to this. They also make lure covers. So these are really sweet. I'm gonna show you these, how these work right now. I'm also gonna show you, if you look here, I've got my cover on my rod um, with the strap. So it's as simple as this. I take my strap off and I just slide this, I slide this off. Okay, so now I've got my cover slid off my rod. And when I want to put it back on, I just bring it up here. I'm going to slide my cover on, work it down. Now, what I'm talking about with the foam insert up here at the top, it's like, okay, most people think, yep, oh, that stopped, it's on, it's not, okay? You bring it down and you slide that in. You sl I just slid that the tip of my rod into that foam insert. Now it's in there. I'm going to bring this back down, put my strap back on, strap that up, take my lure cover right here. I've got my, uh, my crankbait on here. I just wrap this up. So now, carpet on the boat, my hand when I come to grab this, nothing's going to be getting poked. These lure covers are just as awesome as these rod covers. They're great. Uh, not going to be getting hooked up in your carpet, tangling up on other lures that you've got going on, uh, anything else like that. So um, guys, go to trccovers.com, check these things out. Um, you're not going to regret it. They're really awesome covers. So stick around with me. I'm going to take you guys outside. I'm going to show you how these things float in the pool and uh, then we'll come back in and I'll let you look at them laid out on the table so you can see a closer look at it. Everybody, like I said, I'd bring you outside so you can see our pool back here. Um, and I'm going to show you how these covers do in the water. So, oh, there we go. So as you can see, the cover starts to sink or most of the cover starts to sink. But right there, you've got that foam insert. That's gonna help that cover stay afloat for you. So you're not gonna have to deal with fishing that thing out off the bottom. You're just gonna be able to reach in and grab it just like that. So again, that foam insert is amazing. Goes in the water, it doesn't matter if you're running on the boat, whatever it is, that thing's gonna keep this thing afloat. So that entire thing starts to go under right there. There it goes. That thing's going to start to go to the bottom, but that foam insert really, really helps keep that thing up. So. for stopping in today um, like I said go to trccovers.com check these things out make sure you tell them Nathan Hans send you uh, make sure you go down below hit the like hit subscribe comment below if you've got any questions or anything I'll make sure I get back to you everybody have a good day okay tight lines out there and I hope you go hook a big one